All right, might as well go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see, viewer news this week. Uh, shift profiles, that is a thing that's been in the works for a long time. Um, switches the viewer from using the, mostly switches the viewer from using the web-based profiles to using the kind of floater-based profiles. Um, we're still using the web a little bit for, I believe, the feed. Um, so anyway, uh, check it out if you are interested in that sort of thing. Uh, other than that, uh, we are looking at some future updates, reviewing options for upgrading Visual Studio. We're probably going to switch to VS 2022, unless we run into any showstoppers along the way. Um, and we're also uh, transitioning to GitHub, which I think we've mentioned before. Um, exact timeline on GitHub is TBD, but uh, the first changes there are probably going to be coming after the viewer uh, update to, to Visual Studio. Uh, let's see, what else is going on? Um, We've, I think, talked here about possible changes. To, I know I've mentioned that the content creators group may be here. Uh, possible changes to inventory. Basically, we're trying to add new fields for the first time in, I don't know, effectively ever. Um, and uh, so if we do that, there's going to be some changes in the caps and the messaging that we use for inventory. Um, We've got a big pile of old UDP-based messages that we would be happier not to have to uh, take along for the ride when we start updating things. And we also have multiple versions of AIS out there now. So what's probably going to happen is that some of the older messages and caps are going to wind up being sort of semi-deprecated. Um, we're not going to turn them off right away, but probably when we add the new fields, um, the, they won't be included there, and uh, you know, just AIS v3 and maybe a couple of UDP messages if it's too hard to change would get updates. Um, so we'll keep you posted on that. No, no immediate change, nothing to worry about, but uh, just a heads up that that's probably coming at some point. Yeah, we'd be happy to ditch UDP. Oh, uh, that get you better updated to object contents? I'm not sure what you mean. Those are, that's a separate system, uh, Beck. Oh, you mean the inventory of objects? Uh, right, or anything we should be talking about on server work? Uh, let's see. Normal simulators, no, fairly quiet. I that uh, I do want to remind people that next next Thursday, and then going forward, we're going to alternate with the content cre uh, creator group. There's going to be uh, puppetry. Uh, uh, some some puppetry uh, user groups over on Aditi in the Castellet region. Um, for as I, I said yesterday, for the at least for the beginning, these are going to be much more uh, oriented towards developers. So just to get that uh, announcement out there. All right, so let's see other things going on. Got a lot of work going on with materials, uh, which includes support for new reflection maps and uh, PBR-based rendering, and also coming soon uh, uh, improvements to asset fetching. Um, that's some work that was living in its own branch for a while that we've pulled into the materials project. So hopefully that will give people quite a lot faster performance on texture loading. Uh, Dave, you want to say anything else about what's going on there? Sure. Um, 
so the asset streaming optimizations has been merged into the uh, materials branch, um, which is Dirt Viewer 559. Um, installer is available on Discord. I think all of y'all are already in there. Um, and uh, you'll ex expect to see a lot more thread utilization um, and more bandwidth spikes. Uh, it's not quite ready for prime time. There's some log spam in there. Um, trying to figure out exactly what um, the uh, the API we're using to ask the operating system how much texture memory is free uh, is reporting because just like all good hardware API, the hardware vendors disagree on what the values are supposed to mean. Um, but it should be good to go. Uh, and it should use all of your available video memory uh, before it starts paging textures out. Um, I understand a lot of third-party viewers have already rewritten all this uh, using uh, the OpenGL extensions, um, but it looks like on AMD those extensions don't work anymore. So the new API that we're using is uh, uh, a Windows-specific API uh, and then on Mac, uh, we just ask for how much uh, video memory is installed and then use internal accounting to take a good guess at how much is free. So if you have a lot of video memory, you should see significant improvements in how many textures are uploaded at the same time? Yep, it's, uh, it's pretty neat to cam around here and not see textures popping in. Uh, at a meeting with uh, about 30 Londons in it, I um, actually used all 16 of my DRAM gigs made on off and optimizer avatars. This is why we haven't increased the texture size limit. <laughs> uh, the Mac code, um, I don't know why, but on Mac, the operating system will not tell you how much video memory is actually free. It just tells you how much is installed. Uh, and the Windows API tells you how much is actually free, so you don't have to guess. I mean, I can kind of see an argument for it from a privacy security standpoint, because um, it's none of your business what other things on the computer are doing. But sometimes you need to know. Uh, sorry, you're not clear to that information. Yeah, the system memory one um, is one of those non-published APIs, if I remember right, that uh, um, gets you kicked off uh, their certification thing. Yeah, and on the system memory front, on 64-bit uh, builds, uh, we uh, keep the viewer from well, we would try to keep the viewer from using more than 16 gigs of system memory, um, and we'll start paging out textures when it hits that point, too, uh, unless it's a 32-bit build and then you know, 4 gigs.
All right. Uh, I think that covers most of the topics for viewer updates. Uh, Mojo, any uh, news to share? The uh, you know company level or anything? Oh, not hearing anything. No, nope. sorry, I had to step away. Oh, oh, no problem. I was just wondering if you had any updates or uh, everything good to go. Uh, I'm a warrior today. Um, I hope everyone has a wonderful holiday weekend for those of us that have one. But no, I don't. I don't have anything new. Okay, great. Okay, great. Let's see, anything else? Uh, yeah, I think that covers it for us, so we are open for questions. Will build happens on, on GitHub? Uh, eventually, yes. Probably it's going to be a kind of a multi-step process where First, we just move the repos to GitHub and continue using TeamCity, and then uh, farther down the line, we actually switch over to using, uh, you know, GitHub Actions for for this uh, stuff. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, to uh, to address Coffee's qu uh, question, very very early alpha. Uh, uh, Coffee had asked, uh, "How far along is puppetry?" Uh, it's very, very, it's very early alpha. There is still a lot of work to do. Uh, and the, I, to be honest, the primary uh, audience at this point is uh, the the viewer developers. Well, the, the nice thing about Leap uh, and the way we are pulling the data in is that, uh, is that if you have a device that uh, can capture the movement, you can, you can feed it into, uh, in, into SL. So someone could easily, some, uh, a third party, uh, well, uh, a third party could e easily write something for a leap motion or for uh, uh, I think Vru is is talking about he's got a full body tracker uh, there's been talk about doing one using it using a joystick uh, just has to be able to collect the data and send it to us we, we can go into more of that on on uh, next Thursday So what's up with viewers? Any new releases that have come out or are coming soon? Alchemy exists in a weird rolling release hell now. You know how oh, that sounds pleasant. So the idea is you're kind of doing continual releases, or ah, uh, yeah, pretty much. I, or... I, press, I press the button on the build farm, and then it builds and posts to Discord.
Uh, because that works far better with our rather sporadic development pace methodology. My free time doesn't exist anymore. So do you have certain releases that you flag as, you know, this one is official or heavily vetted uh, or whatever, or is it all just kind of... Uh, it's, it's, hand, it's curated between builds, so I do, uh, I'll do a few build iterations and then I personally QA a, a build and then determine if I want to throw it out there and if it will destroy my crash rate. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Torek, you have uh, you have sent us a, th a thing about the Genesis viewer, and I haven't gotten a response out to you yet. I apologize; we've gotten a little backed up. Um, I will try to get back to you next week uh, at the latest. Do you want to say anything about the viewer and kind of what your objectives are for it? It's uh, viewer one. Uh, it looks like viewer one, but we're actually updating all of the code. We've ripped out so much stuff and put in brand new. Um, routines that actually speed up. We're doing very well with the uh, the crash rate is very low, and uh, it's not just no, it's not singularity rebranded. It it is yes, a yes, for singularity. Work of singularity. You're even, you, we're still relying on my server infrastructure. We don't rely. I, I don't know what's the problem. You server infrastructure. I, I if, have if, if, IP addresses. We, um, I, anyway, I sent you a, an email earlier, uh, there. we've moved everything into our own repositories, I don't know where this is coming from, I don't even know why, but in any event, we are recoding everything, um, and we've actually changed some of the routines, we found that people with large inventories couldn't get group notices because the inventory was loaded first, we do that the other way around now. The, the whole thing is actually a, a rebuild from the bottom up, and yes, it did start as a singularity fork, but we've actually come on now. Uh, great bound since then. So, uh, why'd you strip the singularity name out of the about floater? Just, just left our names in. No, no, don't mention about you or any anywhere. It's just, just rather rude. One one constant is is really strange is we're trying to offer something, and you do get a lot of people saying why have we done this why have we done that anyway um, our replication's there everything's open source everything's there to read um, everyone who has been involved is credited by name so uh, yeah we look forward to a, to a favourable reply from you there when you get around to to that. Yeah, we've all basically stared at your repo. Quite a few people have. It got passed around and eventually it got to me and I was I was a little peeved. If 
you look at our changelog, you'll see all the work we've done. Like I say, we're building it from the ground up. I don't know where this is coming from. I, that, the only thing I can think of is if you're trying to break into something, we're trying to offer something to you. And it tends to annoy other people. But anyway, I'll, I'll wait for your decision. I'm, I'm not going to get involved in an argument with you, right? See, see, I'm vindictive enough. I may actually do a new singularity release because of this. This is a little infuriating. Yeah. Okay. Well. Uh. Yeah. I, I understand there seem to be some strong feelings here. Let's. Uh. You know. Try to try to keep it positive in the meetings. Um. If anyone wants to reach out to me with concerns, uh. You know. I'm happy to hear from them. Um. But uh, we obviously we don't have to hash all of this out right now. Just as a matter of decor um, even when the project ends up as a rewrite from the ground up um, it's not polite to remove names from whatever the foundation was and the name of the foundational project that is incredibly rude considering we put 10 years of our time into that uh, on the second life viewer um, and grant we don't do as good of a job as we should keeping our licenses text up to date uh, but you'll see third party viewer or sorry third party libraries where uh, we basically take in their code and rewrite it but they still end up the credit Sorry, can I just say that everybody who works on Singularity, who is in the about and the team and everything, is still listed. I don't see what the issue is here. Everybody is listed. They haven't had a release in two years. We've taken it on. We're, build, we're rebuilding it. Not base your viewer on Snow Globe. We based our viewer on Snow Globe. We did all that effort for 10 years. You have done nothing. Yeah, and I'm not, I'm not, I should clarify, I'm not saying that's what happened. That seems like that's what the accusation is. I haven't looked at it. Well, please download and have a look. If you look at about everybody who ever worked on Singularity is credited. But where's the name of Singularity? I, I would love to see that because I'm looking at it right now. I just, I just pulled the source code down, stayed, gave me a real good stare.
so your beef is the the fact that the word singularity doesn't appear, uh, appear even though everybody who ever worked on it is credited. Okay, I'll put the word singularity in it if it keeps, you know, if it'll keep the peace. No slight was intended. Okay, so does that address the, the main concern? Yes, that is more acceptable. Okay. Okay, I'll put that in tonight and it will appear in the overnight build. Like I say, everybody who ever worked on it, you can see Sienna's there, Charlotte, Charlotte's there, Liro, Ruta, you know, and every and the Alchemy Viewer team, so you're in there as well. You know, it, we, we're just talking about a word that's been missing, so we'll put that in. We'll put that in there that it's based on snow globe and forked from Singularity, and then that makes everyone happy, doesn't it? Because Singularity hasn't had a build in two years or something, so we're just moving forward with the project. You know, I was on the Singularity well, development team. Nothing has really made it public in a long time. I've had so much stuff staged up in all the various repositories around. I know Shadowville has some stuff staged up. It's more free time is limited and. I have to spend it on what is more important to me. Well, the point is that we're not trying to offend anybody here. We're not trying to say that this is our thing from the very, very bottom upwards, because that's why we've left the credits in there. But I will put Singularity in there, and then that will keep everybody happy. We wouldn't have done this. I mean, I certainly wouldn't have put the time in it if there'd been an upgrade upgrade for this. But in doing this, we found a lot of routines that can be improved, and, and that is what we're doing. Okay, I, I'd suggest we wrap up the, the discussion on this topic for now. Um, I, I'm, I'm happy to follow up with people individually or, uh, you know, if we need to, to spin this out into a separate discussion, we can. Uh, do we have any other topics for, uh, for this meeting? I'd like to say thanks to uh, the, the folks who have been helping out with uh, the materials project. Uh, uh, not just the, the internal team, um, but the uh, uh, third party viewer devs like Ray has been uh, helping out, uh, making some contributions, finding places where we're not quite lined up with the GLTF spec. Uh, and Give a shout out to um, Arton and um, Kitsune uh, and Jenna uh, for being ever present in the Discord server and walking through like some difficult uh, edge cases on how are we going to make SL more in line with the GLTF spec while still maintaining the overall look and feel of, of SL. So that, that, that's that been really helpful, um, and it, it's been a lot of fun uh, collaborating real-time uh, instead of waiting for, you know, the project viewer and then the next uh, uh, ship date, but just being able to uh, share code and installers on a daily basis. Um, and I'd really like to see more of that. Uh, I think uh, everybody here wants to see more of that too. So thank you. Yeah, seconded. It's been really great to see the, uh, uh, you know, all the live discussions going on, and uh, it, it really does help on on uh, you know project development and being able to to you know iterate fast because you get get rapid feedback. Yeah, and, and there's plenty of people that I, I didn't mention, um, but the, 
backlog speaks for itself if you get into the content features channel. Ryder, any thoughts on uh, whether you want to pursue a similar model with puppetry, or are you going to have a Discord channel for that, or use the existing content features channel? Uh, yes, actually, I do want a, a <clears throat> excuse me, uh, I do want a uh, Discord channel for for puppetry in particular, and yes, uh, the uh, uh, to. Uh, to live contributions. The uh, I mean, there. We've we've really gotten a lot of a lot of uh, you know great feedback from the community in in recent years. Um, you know, going back to projects like Bento, where it wasn't uh, it wasn't quite as real time, but we had uh, you know we had a lot of actively involved members of the community. Um, you know, getting us uh, getting us kind of feedback and uh, and live discussions of what they were uh, you know hoping for or uh, you know problems they were seeing. And uh, I, I think especially for, you know, thorny content creation kind of issues, um, it's uh, yeah, there's really no substitute for, for getting uh, getting a lot of uh, detailed response from the people who are actually going to be using it. Absolutely. Um, and, and there are plenty of there are plenty of uh, th uh, thorny uh, issues that are, are left to solve with the pub with the puppetry. So yeah, I'm I, I'm looking forward to I'm looking forward to to working pretty closely with pe with people on this. One of the other nice one of the other nice things about the the state of the 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 project right now is that the distribution is 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 small enough that even the uh, the simulator side is is not yet set in stone. So you know we have we have time to to if we've overlooked something on our end we have time to fix that. Yes, it does, and when we're and when we're done, that we we we've hope to even uh, we we hope to not only hold hold a candle to them, but uh, but uh, at at the risk of mixing metaphors, eat their lunch. Uh, don't eat their candles. Yeah, eating candles would be bad. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm going to say. Mm-hmm.
Yes, I've seen I've seen several of Around the Grid. All right, anything else we want to talk about this week, or should everybody run off and have a weekend or other activity is appropriate? Hello, sorry to pop back on something we've already closed, but I believe we have settled our differences. Is that right, right? And tomorrow's bill will give full credit to everybody involved, including the Singularity team and Alchemy Viewer team. Okay? So, like I say, it was never our intention to steal anything off anyone. It was our intention to take a project that had gone stale over two years to move it forward, and that was all. Okay, sounds good. I think I saw a nod. Did Sovereign Engineer nod? Uh, anything else under actions, drop down in new profiles? I don't think we have any immediate plans to change anything in the profiles viewer as released. Uh, if you have requests, feel free to uh, put in bug reports or feature requests. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to call it. Uh, thanks for coming by, everybody, and we will talk to you next time. Thank you, everyone.